Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week our staff of analysts and educators tries to provide you with a better understanding of a major market event scheduled during the next week. This week we'll focus on the possibility of a Greek default and exit from the Eurozone. With money running out, the Eurogroup meeting on April the 24th will be the last best hope to save Greece and keep it in the Eurozone. Greece is bankrupt and should be default well-known investor Mark Faber told CNBC Friday, arguing that a geopolitical game of chess was being played out in the region. The comments by Faber, the editor of Gloom, Boom and Doom report, came at a time of heightened tensions between Greece and its international creditors. The organisations overseeing the country's two international bailouts, worth a combined 240 billion euros, have said the country will not receive a last tranche of aid, worth 7.2 billion euros, until it makes far-reaching reforms. Greece will need to tap all the remaining cash reserves across its public sector, a total of 2 billion euros, to pay civil service wages and pensions at the end of the month, according to finance ministry officials. Barring a last-ditch deal with its creditors that is likely to leave no money to repay the International Monetary Fund, almost 1 billion euros during the first half of May, although Greece has said it wants to honour its debt obligations. Officials from Greece and the lenders are meeting in Brussels for a new round of negotiations ahead of a key Eurozone finance ministers meeting in Riga on April 24. Eurozone officials have voiced scepticism about previous Greek warnings of empty coffers, although even they acknowledge a crunch is nearing. Greece might have forgotten a reprieve this weekend. There's rumours coming out of Greece of a deal with Russia and Gazprom over transit rights for a natural gas pipeline. It's long been known that such a pipeline to cross Greek territory has been under discussion and that construction looked very likely. But the important point of the current story is that Russia will advance a significant part of future transfer fees up front, thus very much easing the cash crunch that Greece is under. Whether it will really happen is still unknown, but it looks like a smart move by both sides. Russia gets something it was going to have to pay for anyway, those transit rights. And Greece gets what it wants, money right now.